basic ingredients. Now you guys know, you learn in art school the three primary colors. Who here knows your three primary colors? Who Raise knows? your hand. Let me see. You know? The three primary colors when they're painting. They're the ones you can mix all other colors from. White. No, that actually, you're yellow. close. Blue, red, yellow, and red. There you go. You guys got it. Blue, yellow, Blue, and, yellow red. and red. You can make any color out of those, and you use white is called um, hue, and black is called tint. So you could use those to darken up or lighten up any color to get the right shade you want. Music has three primary colors. All right? Rhythm. You guys hear where I'm going with this? Melody and harmony. Now, we all know what rhythm is. Rhythm is the beat. Like, for instance, with our pineapple pizza song, we're counting in eights, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Right? That's, that's where rhythm is. Rhythm is what they call temporal action. Temporal means time. Or time related. Now, melody, you can think of a single person singing a song just singing the main part that you come to recognize. An easy melody on a guitar would be. Right? Who recognizes that one? Twinkle, twinkle. Right. Now, name me another song that it's used for. You guys are about to get a trivia. This is great trivia stuff. You can bust your friends and make five dollars a pop on this question. <laughs> if they don't get it right, they owe you five dollars. A B C D E F G. And my yeah. voice won't go that high as you can. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. So. The lesson there is songwriters steal from each other all the time. That's just the way the business goes. So, then you think of the third fundamental element or the third primary color in music is harmony. Now, what would you think of when you think of harmony? That's a single voice. Exactly. These guys just nailed it. More than one voice at a time. So when you guys are at school, or you guys are in church, or you guys are in play, and you're singing together, that is harmony. harmony. That's it. All, that's all it takes is two voices. And that's all it is. So. Okay. And you got harmony. And that's the way that that works. So... Harmony is what you do mostly on the guitar, on combinations of harmony and rhythm at first. I mean, you strum chords. Uh oh. Go get this. We got this. This guitar is ironclad. This guitar is apocalypse proof. This guitar was made to withstand hurricanes and nuclear explosions. It's in the purple. And if it was not purple, it would not have made it through that. So thank you for bringing a purple guitar for me. Okay, so when we strum the chords like that, we're creating harmony. And we also have the elements of rhythm. And we have the elements of melody. Because you've got one note leading the charge right there. Now. What happens is, ultimately, if you pick up an instrument, whether it be guitar or piano, eventually you can learn how to learn songs on your own, and that's after you, it, it doesn't take long to do that. Who here likes to play video games? Okay, it's just like video games in that there's patterns to songs. And that's what happens with a musical instrument. Pretty soon you learn, hey, this note or this chord 
goes with this, and that's what I'm hearing. And then you begin to hear the songs that you like on the radio or on your playlist, and you start going, oh, wait a minute, I recognize that. And it's just a matter of what key it's in, and, 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 and you're good.